Hey guys, Nick with 2 how do you do? This video is going to go over another pocket fix blade uh, I made today. And uh, just uh, talk about it. I'm really proud of it. I really like it. Probably uh, my favorite to date. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you. Let's see. Everything's in frame, hopefully. Uh, it is a copper handled pocket fix blade zoom in here you can see it is a hammer finished uh, handles uh, you know with a ball peen go at it and take a lot of time and hammer every single part of it and the blade is acid etched or sandblasted then acid etched and then I kind of scraped off the the logo if we can see this kind of scraped off and kind of worn down. I wanted that kind of, you know, old look. Um, I came over the, I did, what I did to the handles was that, uh, you know, I hammered it and then I sandblasted it. Then I acid it, or put it in acid for a while. And then I heat uh, colored it. And I don't know if you can pick up the colors in this light, but there's a little blue and green some places but it's mostly like a dull dull black dull gray some dull browns and then I came over with some sandpaper to hit the hit the tops and give it some contrast which I really like paracord lanyard and some jimping uh, I want to weigh this real quick because I actually haven't weighed it yet and uh of course it's going to be heavy because it's copper, but I just want to get an ounce weight on it. 6.01 6 ounces, so 6 ounces with these copper handles. 7.3 with the um, Kydex sheath. This is a G10 version, 4.6 4 ounces. So you can see I'm almost 3 ounces heavier um, with this guy. And uh, the wood one's even lighter, so it's probably four ounces heavier than that one, which is, you know, a bit, but uh, I like it. This one, this one's going to be mine. Uh, I want to keep this one. Uh, I really like it. You can see some better high quality pictures on my Facebook page. It'll be in the description. i do a cut test. Pretty sharp. I'll strap it up a little more. But, uh, I actually, if you can see here, the screw's different. I had to use a different screw on this one because I did the hammer finish after I cut it out and shaped it. And, uh, uh, this one turned out fine, but, uh, I started out hammering it while it was off the blade and, uh, it wasn't screwed down this side. And it, it warped, you know, because of the hammering. And uh, so I heated it up and then flattened it. So it's flat now. But the warping, you know, stretched it out so that the, the screws were not perfectly aligned. So I hammered it back down and squished it and got it down to where I could get a screw in. But the first couple of threads on the, that screw hole had stripped. So I had to use a longer screw. Uh, but it works. So next time, uh, this I'll do it like this, where I have the have the blades, you know, screwed to the handle, and then do the hammer finish, uh, so it won't, you know, mess up the the where the holes are, the placement of the holes. But uh, you know, just something to note if you're going to work with copper, uh, it'll, it'll bend on you if you do a finish like this. But I really like it. Really like old timey, kind of kind of uh, steampunkish. I have some brass, I might do kind of like a steampunk thing with that. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. So check out the, the pics 
on uh, Facebook. And guys, remember, keep your knife sharp, your mind sharper. I'm Nick Wood too. Thanks for watching.